Yeah, I didn't plan to run uh, until we, we got the results that we did in the uh, national elections and especially because of the uh, new coalition government. So I think probably both in Estonia and in Europe, uh, the kind of f fight with uh, right-wing populism is going to be the most important issue of our, of our time, really, I think, for our generation. So, so I'm running uh, to be uh, more effective at it. Well, you know, the big question is, of course, is, is just the, basically the future of Europe. And uh, if we're going to have more uh, basic freedoms in Europe or less of them, because there are pretty strong forces that want to want to turn back the developments that we've had so far. But um, in relation to that, I think it's, it's pretty important to look at um, how these new digital platforms like uh, Facebook or Google or um, uh, other this kind of um, uh, digital you know, it's, they, they always call them platforms or, or publishers, but it's actually kind of an extension of our, of our physical space into the digital world. So uh, I think one of the main issues is how they are regulated. Let me put it a bit differently. So the basic freedoms of the EU is, is movement of people and then services and goods and capital. And uh, do we need uh, less or more friction? Uh, I, I think we definitely need less friction. So uh, I definitely would make it easier for people to change countries and, and live this kind of nomadic lifestyle where maybe they're staying in different cities uh, uh, in one year. Uh, so, so I'm worried about all the trends that are pointing towards uh, making uh, Europe less free for, for movement of people. First of all, um, it's a, the interpretation that a lot of people are, are really, really left behind is, uh, is just plain wrong. Uh, if you look at living standards across Europe, uh, or even in Eastern Europe here in Estonia, uh, they have been growing steadily. So, uh, you know, if, if people really compare what it was like, I don't know, what, what healthcare was like 15 to 20 years ago, or what infrastructure was like 15 to 20 years ago, or what public transport or any, any other you know, services were like 15 to 20 years ago, there, there are huge improvements, even for the people that are very, uh, that don't make uh, uh, a lot of money. Uh, so so I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's the issue. Uh, and also, well, you asked about, should, should we have more integration or less? So it depends on which area. If we look at, for instance, uh, financial policy, then uh, the fact that we have a, a common currency kind of points us towards the fact that we maybe should have more integration in terms of financial policy. But in other areas, I think maybe, uh, you know, we should be quite conservative about, uh, about delegating everything upwards. There are so many things that are best solved on the, on the immediate level of, or the lowest possible uh, level of, of governance. And, um, and thirdly, I think um, what you're pointing to is the kind of rising inequality that we've got, not only in Europe, but, but in the rest of, of the Western world. And this is a problem, and it's um, mainly to do with uh, this kind of neoliberal idea of, of, of not regulating markets, or that any kind of regulation is bad. And as, as I said, in terms of these social media platforms, we're seeing the negative effects of that you know, uh, as we speak. So there, you know, there always has to be a, a, a good balance between uh, uh, regulation and then financial freedom. I think actually um, Europe could be highly competitive in terms of, of creating new technologies uh, for a greener environment. And Estonia could actually be a remarkable success story here because uh, for, for, for a country to have a success story, you kind of need to be in trouble first. So the narrative has to be that the, the, the state of things is very, very bad and that it improves. And if we look at the environmental impact of our uh, economy today and how we produce energy, then you know, there, there's no hiding the fact that Estonia is in a bad place. So if, if we were to be kind of the, the standard bearers of, of, uh, of more sensible economic policies, and especially in the field of, of advanced technologies that will allow us to create um, energy in a, in a more sustainable way or run our economy in a more sustainable way that could really uh, give a boost to Estonia's economy and also I think if, if, if Europe really gets serious about this then that could boost Europe's uh, economy uh, if, you, if you look at the, you know, the picture worldwide.